Hi, this is Geert Jan from the NetBeans team. In this screencast, we're going to get started with Angular. AngularJS, a great JavaScript framework that has as a starting point what is called the Angular Seed template. So I'm just going to call this the Angular Seed demo. I will then click Next and I'll say Download Online Template. And NetBeans is actually going to make a connection with the online repo and from there extract the Angular Seed template, which means that when the Angular Seed template developers, or in fact the Angular team, when they make changes to that repo, um, you're going to get different code out of it. In other words, um, the template is not wrapped inside NetBeans, but is inside the repo. So this demo that I'm doing right now is correct for as long as the code that is in that repo is the same as the code that I'm using here. In other words, it could change. It could change. However, it's always going to be more or less the same. The point of the Angular C template is simply to give you a starting point. In earlier versions, you would have a partials file and the partials folder and things like that. In the latest, in the current version of the Angular C template, you can see that instead of a partials folder, you have a view one folder and a view two folder. So the structure can change, but the basic idea is always going to be the same to give you a starting point for getting started with Angular. Now, first of all, if we take a look in the important files folder, you'll see that there is a Bower file, which declares some dependencies. You can see here there's a bunch of dependencies listed here. And there's also a package.json file, which lists a list of dependencies as well. Now, um, you could go to the command line and run Bower and run Node to access those dependencies. Or you can actually right click on the project. And you can see here, you can say npm install Bower install. You can also go to resolve project problems. If we open the files window, and I'm going to open it and show it down here. We're going to see that a whole bunch of files and dependencies and various artifacts are going to be added. We won't see them in the projects view because the projects view shows the logical view, the files that you need to work with. But the files window shows you all the dependencies and related materials that you don't need to work with directly, but that the project itself needs. So right click, go to resolve project problems and just click resolve. And now what is going to be done on the command line is that node is going to be run, npm install, and Bower install is also going to be run. Once the process is complete, you can see a whole long list of references to dependencies that have been downloaded. And you can see them here in the node modules folder. So we have Bower in there, and we have required JS, so we have all kinds of libraries that have been added. Now, once you've done that, you can also see that the this display name um, doesn't look broken anymore and isn't a broken icon, which there was when there were missing dependencies. Now we can say let's run this in the embedded browser. So you don't need to open an, an external browser. And I'll just minimize the output window. Now here are our two views. View 1 and View 2. You can see it works perfectly. And what is interesting is that you can click on this button that you see here, which you also have in the Chrome browser if you install the NetBeans Connector plugin. And once you've done that, you can click on items that you see in the browser and see where they are defined in the browser DOM and vice versa. So you can see here, as I move my mouse up and down in the browser DOM window on the left, I can see that the embedded browser um, updates to show something else being selected. Now from here, I can also um, see on the right-hand side here in the CSS styles window that as I select something different, the CSS styles window updates. So let's, for example, go to this one. This is the partial for view one. 
can see here that this points to a p tag there and this view one view one and view two also we can jump into the source and here's view one okay so let's change it view one and we'll write one instead and now i'm clicking save and as soon as i've clicked save so control s so i'll do it again i'll make a change here now view two you can also press the save button as soon as i've made that change you can see that the change is reflected in the embedded browser it would also be reflected if i was using the chrome browser um, now let's take for example this view one and we can see here this color color is currently black um, we can change to something different khaki and you can see that that this color now is updated we can also jump from here into the source so here's the source and I do control space and I can choose a different color and then semicolon and save and you can see it's updated so again just go in here press control space and code completion pops up and you can choose the color that you would like to use and when you do save or even before you do save uh, you will see the update so now I'm I've chosen something different I haven't saved yet now I've saved so this is really handy if you want to do some quick changes quickly change the colors and change the font so again we select this and we see here the font size the font size could be different so we can change it here smaller or larger or whatever you like you see now it's significantly larger and again you can right click and go to source and here's the source so normally you'd have to do a lot of searching around in your application to find where the font size is defined Angular C template, before you even begin looking at it and trying to understand the um, the code. So you can see that Angular is now also part of the Bower Components folder and you can now start hacking your code. What's also handy is that you have Karma here, so your test runner is, is available here. You can set up Karma, you can set up the JS test driver, you can set up Grunt. So the build, clean and clean and build commands when you right click on the project can be mapped to targets that you define in a grunt file. You can also create a Cordova application, meaning you can create a native Android or iOS application, which means a, a hybrid application. A wrapper will be created by Cordova around your JavaScript application, which you can deploy wherever you like. For example, um, when we go to the to up here you can see we can deploy to Android but if we had um, Mac OS X we could deploy to iOS you can deploy to the device you can deploy to the emulator if you deploy to the Chrome browser on the device then you can do debugging from within NetBeans to the to the device something else is that you can also use SAS and less very easy to get started with SAS and LESS directly in NetBeans. Have them set up on the command line, and then you can register the um, executable here and run it from within NetBeans. If you want to include other JavaScript files, other JavaScript libraries, you can get them directly in NetBeans from the CDNJS website. And periodically, you should click this update link. You can see um, that. I have the JavaScript libraries updated, but every once in a while you might want to click on this to make sure that you have the latest versions available. And that's it. Um, all the tools you need for doing JavaScript development with the AngularJS framework. Have fun with NetBeans.